how to commission a Wiesman 100. My name is Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to go through the new Wiesman 100 and I'm going to show you how to commission it. I'm going to show you on option two. Option one is when you do it with the app on your phone. But I'm going to show you option two so when you get the AP symbol up. this The reason for this video today is somebody's just put a question about this on one of the groups that I'm in. So I just thought it's just easier just to come along and just do a video for you. Um, as always, on only work on boilers if you're a gas safe registered engineer. This is just for guidance only. And you always follow the installation instructions that you have with you. Um, if you can, please put a thumbs up on the video. Really appreciate that. And please put a comment below. Let's get on with this video. So when we get the boiler, we'll have AP on the display. And that's access point. Now we can choose to commission that with option one. And option one is you would download the app. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you option two. So all we need to do, so you can do it manually, there's three little bars here. This is the menu. If you click on there for four seconds, it will bring up the display, which is C1. And C1 is to start the filling program. So all you do on there, you click onto there, and you can scroll on for filling program or off. We're gonna have it on off for this video. And then C2 is the venting program. So that's if you want to vent the boiler. And again, you click OK and it's off and you can have it on or off again. So again, we're gonna click it off. Then it takes us to C3. So C3 is to set the gas type. So if we had this on LPG, then we might want to change it or natural gas, depending on which one we wanted it on. So again, we click on OK and we've got a number two in there. So number two tells us it's for natural gas. If we did click on that, we could change it to free and free would be LPG. And then we would click OK if we was gonna put it onto LPG. On this video, we're gonna put it onto number two, which is natural gas. Then if we go to C5, C5 is the, the desired flu. So if we click on there, we've got a number of different scenarios. For a normal standard flu, it would normally be two, but again, you can scroll up and down on that and choose the one that you want. That then takes us to C6, and this C6 tells us flu lengths. So with ours, we've got a number one, and you can scroll up on there if you had additional flu lengths on there. So we click OK, and that takes us to C7. And then on C7, this then tells us what we've got the boiler set as. So we've got it set as 13, which is constant flow temperature with an external time and temperature control. So this is just your normal room thermostat. We've got this particular system on an S-plan at the moment. So that's why it's at 13. You could change that. So if you have it on weather comp, it would be number four. And there's different settings on there. There's 14 open firm so you can change that to whatever settings that you require so if we just click on ok that then takes us to c8 and if we click ok that just takes us to the number there so we just want that on number one on this one and that's a heating circuit without a low loss header so again we'll just click on to there and that takes us to c10 if we'd have changed the setting on the previous one on C8, C9 would have given us some different options. But we, because of what we chose, it's skipped one and it's took us to C10. So again, if we click on OK, and we've got zero there. So again, we'll just click OK. And then it takes us to C11. So C11 is date and time. So if we just click on OK, 23rd of the 5th 2022 which is what today's date and then it takes us to C12 and C12 is just the time so it's the 17th sorry time 1734 
so 534 when we're doing this video today and again just click OK and this is C13 now and that takes us to automatic changeover for winter and summer so if we click on OK and we've got that display set to on so you could change that to off if you wanted to and this just changes the time for the winter and summer so again we click to OK and that's gone to end I'll just click OK the boiler will now reset and it'll have all them settings in that you've set for the boiler so that's your commissioning quick guide um, quick start guide and that comes in the installation instructions and this is very very important when you open instructions just find this it is also in the full instruction book as well so if you did lose this it is in there this boiler is absolutely amazing it's got so many different settings on it it's unbelievable you can range rate these as well i think it goes down to three kilowatts so when new regulations come in or, or new guidance or whatever they're going to call it um for part l then this boiler will be it'll suit that really well if you've got any questions at all on this boiler put a comment below let me know i can do any videos we want we want on this so i can do range rating we can do putting different controls on it whatever really um but yeah that's your quick guide hope you found this video of some use and thanks for watching